What's up, you guys, and welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. We've talked an awful lot about growing your business, barbering, techniques, tools, reviews, but the one thing that I've not really talked about at all that I've wanted to talk about for a while is cameras. Now, I've had a lot of experience with cameras from both the higher end cameras to the lower end cameras. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or if you're thinking about just trying to advertise yourself on social media in general, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, whatever, um, video is gonna be the way of the future. You don't really need to get anything too crazy. So I have the perfect little setup for you, man. It is so sleek, it's so small, it's got a flippy screen, you can see yourself. Everything that you would pretty much need to start yourself a YouTube channel or to advertise yourself online, this will definitely help you with that. Let's go to the shop. I got some cuts I want to film. I got some fun I want to have. And uh, I'll break this whole thing down to you real quick so you guys can make a decision on whether you want to start a channel or not. Oh, and, uh, and I, I definitely think you should. I definitely think you should. It's hard. It's going to take a while. But at the end of the day, if you, if you just keep grinding on it, you're definitely going to make it somewhere with the YouTube channel. Because I'm no different than you. And, and look at how far I've got. So with that being said, uh, let's go to the shop. Okay, so you start your YouTube channel, you're trying to do your barber thing, you just need something simple. So here's my little setup right here, the Sony a6400. It's tiny, I can see myself, which is perfect. I can frame myself, which is perfect. I also have this tiny little microphone that I just plug in. You can easily do it for voiceovers, find a quiet place, bam, you got your voiceover. One of the other great things is I got this dummy battery. So I can actually plug this camera right into the wall and run it forever. And it records in 4K24, which is how I shoot most of my tutorials. And I actually have it just sitting on my stand. Very easy. I can zoom it in, zoom it out, and I could hit up every single area of that tutorial. So if I was on a budget and I didn't have that much money to spend, this would be a perfect camera for you. A6400, get yourself a little stand. Um, the dummy battery, I'll put links to all this in the description. You can get any type of lavalier mic. I just have this one that plugs in. I actually have a few wireless ones, just different stuff. I don't really need all that. But uh, as you can see, this has the flip up screen. Then also, the cool thing too is if you wanted to shoot in slow-mo, you could just switch this over to S&Q mode. And it's super easy. So any type of slow-mo that I want to shoot, bam, just go ahead, shoot it, zoom in, zoom out, and you can get all those buttery, smooth, slow-mo shots that you want to get to help advertise yourself on any social media platform you want. But especially if you guys are trying to do a YouTube channel, uh, this, is pretty, this is a pretty awesome little setup to use. And, and probably one of my favorite parts about this whole setup is it all fits in this tiny little bag, which I stole from my son. But the, the point is, it's not too much to carry, it's not too much to walk around with, and at any moment during the day, let's say you're vlogging or whatever, and you come up with a good idea, bam, you got your camera on you, you could just leave it at the shop, whatever you gotta do. So that's definitely the camera that I would recommend for starting. And the other thing too is, you can get this camera usually with two different types of lenses. I would go with the 16 to 50, because 16 is a real wide lens, you can get everything and then when you want to zoom in for some of those tutorials you can hit them with the 50. you're not going to get a lot of bokeh and stuff with this lens but it will get you by it will get you some really good clean tutorials and uh more importantly the fact that you could see yourself is super helpful because there's plenty of cameras out there that are budget cameras that don't have a flippy screen which kind of sucks but not only does this have a flippy screen one of the other things too is i film in sunlight a lot for my other stuff and uh, it actually has a nice little viewfinder. So when it's like really sunny, that's when I switch over to using this. But the majority of the time, I'll use the, the flip down screen so I can actually frame my shots and, and get it set up there. Also, inside my little bag that I stole from my son, I got my charger. I could charge two batteries. I have a few extra batteries. These batteries will generally get you like 40 minutes or so of film time and then they'll die. Um, and a lot of times when I'm at the shop, I'll just plug in the dummy battery because I'm not running around. But 40 minutes and I carry a handful of them. They're actually, they're actually really small. Um, not too much to carry around. Easy to just throw in something and, and keep it going with you. So, all right, you guys. So part two of this video is what can I actually do with this? So I only probably got about 15 minutes. I'm gonna show you how to shoot a cool barber video. Uh, Johan's cutting my Fenty and I'm gonna do it all with this. But let me show you what we're filming this on. Probably take the camera cap off, be a good idea. All right, so I'm filming you filming me. Mm -hmm. And he's filming this on a Sony A7S 
3 just came out a couple days ago and I'm going to make the case that you can almost make the equally you can almost make a video equally as good with something small like this if you use a little you know use a little smarts or something a little ingenuity if you use a little tack some ingenuity that's it all right you ready let's go ready okay shot shot number one i want to i want to set the stage here i want to move in on him i want to get like my intro shot on him so i'm gonna use this skateboard and uh my a6400 let's see how many tries it takes Gordon. Not Come on over here. Hey, you you get that green? Yeah, I do. All right, ready? I'm getting the whole damn thing. Ready? I'm toss like, wait, wait. Let me see where. Let's let's do a couple practice tosses. I like that. Nice. All right, ready? Three, yep. two, one. I'll drop. Mm. All right, one more time. One more time. Three, two, one. Oh, Come in. Now. I know. I was about to drop. Three, two, one. Fuck around. Fuck around. All right. So for filming for IG, you can film like this. And that's actually going to fill up your phone screen, just so you know. Uh, if you film this way, then that's going to be good for like maybe Facebook, YouTube, stuff like that. Uh, but if we were filming for IG, definitely want to hold it sideways. So that's going to be 1080 by 1920 instead of 1920 by 1080. All right, this is not T's hair, but it's going to look like T's hair when we're done. Just stand up. Look on your lips. I'm not throwing it on your lips. I'm not throwing it on your lips. Can we put this on your upper lip? Come on, bro. Hell so you know. no. Just so he can cut it off. No, 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 no. So he's not down with that. All right, ready? I know where else you can put it. <laughs> cool. Got a good bounce back and forth between those two. I actually probably already have enough good shots to make a decent video, uh, but I'm gonna have him do. I'm gonna have him do like like two more different shots. This, this production behind me. <laughs> All right, so let's check that. Let's check that shot out. It's going to happen in real time. That's pretty cool. Let's give ourselves some transition shots, so like some leading lead out shots. So I'm gonna I'm gonna snap to. Um, so I'm gonna begin filming like over here and just snap to his his fade his uh, process right here. So beginning by almost pointing at Chad in my Josh Allen jersey. Best quarterback in the league. Come on, stop the video. Boy, who are you gonna say is better? Stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm trying to use like a foreground element. So a foreground element obviously is something that is not in focus, but is a little bit closer to the lens. So it just it just adds a little bit of difference to the to the shot. I wish he had some kind of light around him, but you know, yeah. I could just hand the camera to Sonny and he can film it right on the ground level and get the high angle. <laughs> All right, so I got like I got like 30 minutes before my next client comes. I'm gonna try to load up that footage on my laptop and uh, knock out this video real quick and show you guys what's up. A few moments later.